Hey guys, it's Yoni here from UKMR. Today I have a small guide on how to get your Android device looking like Android KitKat 4.4 or the Nexus 5. So here you can see I have a special launcher which is actually one that was literally ripped out from the uh, Nexus 5's file database. So we have all the features such as swiping into Google now straight to the left as well as this new app drawer. And uh, it does look slightly different as it would on the Nexus 5 even though this is the official one mainly because I've added some customization in terms of where the icons are as well as the fact that my screen is a 4 inch rather than a 5 inch so that is the main reason why it will look different on most devices but we still have features such as pressing up here for Google search or even the voice search Google now which will go straight from here and actually this isn't just a launcher Google has literally turned the home screen at least the stock home screen into a launcher so even if we try and find uh, I'm not sure if it will be on here but if you click on launcher it will literally just redirect you to the Google search app so I don't have anything like the stock launcher because mine is running Samsung's touch with screen um, but you can if you buy something like widget locker lock screen and um, and if you go through there have a look what you can do with it you can actually do a lot of customization options there to make your device look like it's a Nexus 5 or at least look like the KitKat 4.4 lock screen or if you're into routing then you could do it that way so if I open up the Google search app this is just a, the uh, Google search app which I installed the update from and I will have links in the description below for all these apps I'll show you so it literally takes you straight into the home screen so that is where the Google search is located now there's nothing you can do with this uh, we actually have a new way to interact with the home screen in terms of settings and widgets so instead of finding them up here at the top it's all apps now we have to do is either press the menu button or hold down somewhere and then you can interact with the screens like this you have wallpapers widgets and settings so you can change wallpapers and that kind of thing uh, in the settings there's really not much I was hoping there'll be maybe some support for icon packs or something like that which I'll come to in a minute but really there's nothing apart from phone searching Google now Google voice as well as accounts notifications and you can send help and feedback now you can turn off Google now which will uh, completely turn it off but I quite like it and I also very much like having the screen here rather than having to open an app it's very nice having all my notifications here I do like Google now very much I think it's a very good application that anyone can use so um, that's pretty cool in the launcher so the way that I got the icons like this I'll show you if I remove the phone icon and then I re-add my phone app you can see it's got the horrible Samsung touch with style icon and uh, it doesn't really work the way um, the way you'd like it to look in terms of mixing touch whiz with stock so you have to go through a whole long process of opening up this application called desktop visualizer and then what I recommend you to do is download a icon pack uh, which is called Jelly Bean HD or really any stock icon pack and then you click Jelly Bean HD and don't forget you don't click on icon packs you click on others then you choose the icon pack you click the um, the certain icon that you want to use and it will come up with a corresponding app. You click on that app and then you press OK. Then you select which launcher you want it to be put in. So Google search is the name of it. And then we go back. We've got the uh, shortcut here. And uh, instead of just doing the whole pinchy thing or even doing this to make a new screen, uh, similar to iOS, you can just drag it over by a screen and then it will create something new. So I'll just show you that right now. There you go. And if you have nothing on that screen, it will uh, basically just close itself. So that's the launcher and icon sorted. Um, the next thing up is wallpapers. So we have a link in the description below with a bunch of wallpapers that have been pulled off of the Nexus 5 or KitKat 4.4, which you can use to uh, add to your device. I can just show you some right now. So here are some of the wallpapers. We've got some very nice uh, Google designed wallpapers. Of course, they're very quirky. They all have one set color, at least one set color scheme. They're very nice wallpapers. You can use them on uh, high res, uh, at least they're all high res for background. So you could even stick one of these on an iPhone and see how it plays out with parallax. Um, and that's the wallpaper sorted. Now, there's not much left of uh, the KitKat because the main features were in the home screen. Um, we don't have the thing where you'd be able to say OK Google and then it will open up from here mainly because most devices don't have that compatibility apart from the Motorola X. 
But apart from that, these are the features such as the launcher, the icons, it looks very cool. I really like this launcher, of course, with the uh, the new Google Home launcher slash Google Search launcher, which you can see right here. We It comes with uh, widgets such as clocks um, that you'll find on stock Android, so you can have a look through here. So here's one that says Android Clock, which I downloaded from the, uh, from the Play Store, and here's one that says Analog Clock. I'm not sure why it's uh, green. Um, for some reason, also, if I find the digital clock on here somewhere it's it's around um i'll show you here it is it also has green but whereas when you place it you can see it comes out in the normal white color there are apps and widgets that allow you to um download exact replicas of the clock it's just this one comes with so that's why i'm using it um so that's pretty much it thank you for watching this video don't forget to check out the site and all the links in the description below there are a bunch of applications that were updated as well i should mention so if we have a look at the camera app you won't be able to see anything obviously but we've got the settings here now in this new sort of options we've got picture size we've got white balance uh cloudy and fluorescent and auto for um, for the white balance, we've got flash mode as well. Um, I'm not sure how to pull this up. I think you, yeah, there you go. So you just swipe up. So flash mode, I'll leave it to off. And then you swipe up, you've got options, you've got a countdown timer. It's very nice. Uh, I keep pressing things by accident, but that's kind of how it is. You have to sort of bring your, um, bring your finger downwards. And then you can also switch to the front camera. You won't be able to see anything really apart from part of my camera. So hello. Um, apart from that, not really many apps were up updated apart from things like Gmail, email, that kind of thing. Uh, Google, Google Keyboard was updated, so you can see where if, uh, if you look closely, when I press something, it comes up with more of a white theme, uh, and they've sort of changed the layout as well. You can also add, um, emoticons here, so that's all in the stock keyboard now, uh, as well as smileys. So that's pretty cool, we've got all this stuff here. Quite similar to iOS as mentioned, but it's not like it's stealing or anything, it's just innovation in the keyboard. So there you go, that's everything you can do to your device to make it look like KitKat 4.4. I assume all the uh, other Nexus devices such as uh, apparently only the Nexus 4 and up will be getting 4.4 as well as the Nexus 7 and the Nexus 10. I'm not sure about other high-end devices such as the HTC One or One Max or the S4 or the Note 3, but they should be getting a rollout of Android KitKat 4.4 in the coming months. So once again, thank you very much. Please check out the website and I will see you all for another video. See ya.